you have the parents, the teacher, and the learners themselves. So whoever takes upon himself to castigate and criticize the teaching fraternity alone on matters of performance, I think this one must stop. You all know much as we do that outside here, some head teachers, some principals have been threatened. And I want to refer you to a recent uh, occurrence in Kakamega by a whole member of parliament, speaking as if he's teacher number one in this republic. That is so shameful. Shame on him. So shameful. Sure. I even wonder if uh, this gentleman, Salasi, is not Salasia? Yes, Salasia. Moshiwa Salasia. Uh, I, I don't even know which school you went to. Sure, sure. You don't even obey decora. Yes. You don't even know who you are speaking to. You don't even know who you are inciting. And I look at the people being incited. Don't take advantage of the jobless to distract jo those who are doing some job. Sure, sure. I think this one must stop. Here. And we are telling Teacher Service Commission, it is time that you now withdraw principals and head teachers of institutions who are being threatened by leaders who incite the general public to take unlawful action against employees of Teacher Service Commission. I um, made reference to this particular MP, and this one must stop. Sure. And I also want to call upon the Minister of Interior Government. The CS, can you take action on such? It borders hooliganism, and not even hooliganism. This is a breach of the law. Sure. And you know, when a CS, what should be done to such people? Action. That is the position. We want to see arrests of such people. If they are not interested in matters education, please, can they keep off? Yesterday, in Yakorere uh, uh, Secondary School, in Gucha South, a principal reported to me that he went to school, the office was locked. The bazaar's office was also locked. I that this is shameful. Kenya is not a banana republic. Sure, sure. And in fact, actions as such should be dealt with by the law. My sister, Dr. Nancy Masharia, take action. And we don't want to see any of our teachers going back to those institutions. Sure. And take time before you even post. Sure, yes. sure. Yes. Teachers to such institutions. Let the public learn that Kenya is guided by law, and we are all law-abiding citizens. We shall not sit back as a union as we look at and watch our teachers and our members, of course, being frustrated in places of work. We shall not condone. And going by what happened in the recent past, we want to see action. And I mentioned here, the Minister Interior should take action. Sure. CS, kindly take action on these people. Yes. And my brother, CS Mashogu, Minister of Education, take charge. Yes. Let us not only warn these people, let us not only condemn, we want to see action. Today, the worst one and the worst scenario that actually propelled and lit fire on all this is the utterances sure. of this MP. Yeah. Sure. You cannot just sure. speak sure. and you're a leader. Sure. And I was the, aunt was the MP. Do you think you're the best MP? Do you think you are the best MP? If we teachers come in and actually come out to say that you also get out of that office as an MP, that, that, that will be making this republic a banana republic. And being cautious as teachers, and we know what we should do, we cannot do that. Standards of a leader. And finally, suppose the MP is asked to teach, he does not even know what to teach and how to go about it. Don't, don't interfere with professionals. Teaching is not a walk in the park. It is total sacrifice. Sure. And when you talk of performance, go back and find out who is involved in performance of any institution. Thank you. For proper analysis, you must analyze the parents, analyze the learners themselves, and also analyze the teaching fraternity. Remember the other time, 
there was a lot of hue and cry about 